Hello, this lesson is about numbers from 0 to 100. Hola, esta lección es sobre los números del 0 al 100. Hi, welcome to Spanish for London. I am Laura and in today's lesson we will study numbers from 0 to 100. Then you will have another lesson about the rest of the numbers, then another lesson for ordinal numbers, which are the first, the second, the third, etc. And another lesson to know how to say what time is it. Okay, let's start. Numbers are easy, but there are some tricky uh, words and even intermediate students sometimes are still struggling with their numbers, so study them very carefully. So, let's see the first numbers. Let's start with numbers from 0 to 10. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Remember to write 4 with C, never with Q. And remember to pronounce correctly this number, 6. 6. When you have two vowels uh, together in a word, you have to pronounce them separately in Spanish. So don't produce one sound. You have two sounds here. So Seis. It's difficult for you because you are English speaker, so you have to practice slowly to say correctly seis. Okay? So again, cero, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Okay, let's continue now from 11 to 20. Now, you will see that we say 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So remember, numbers from 11 to 15, all of them end with CE. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then for the rest, 16, 17, 18, 19, we put 10. Do you see? And then plus 6. 7, 8, 9. Don't forget to put the accent here, but do not put an accent here. And again, you don't know why, you will know this in a lesson about accents. Okay. And then for 20, we have 20. And again, we have the same combination of letters as in says. So remember, these three words, Seis, veinte, and treinta have e, i, one after the other. So try to practice this pronunciation in order to do it correctly, because if you mispronounce these words, we don't understand. It's very common to hear viente instead of veinte. Viente is not a Spanish word. And actually, if you say viente, we understand viento, which is the wind. So as you can see, you are saying something completely different and um, we don't understand because there is no sense in your phrase. So, seis, veinte, treinta. Be very careful with this. Okay, so now, we continue with 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and again, the difficult combination, 30. So as you can see, numbers from 0 to 30, del 0 al 30, are only one word. All of them are only one word. So from 0 to 30, one word, una palabra. One word is, in Spanish, una palabra. Okay, so now you know your numbers from 0 to 30. Let's continue now with 20, 30, 40, etc. 
um, until 100. Okay, let's see now. These numbers in English end with TY. In Spanish, they end with TA. Ta, ta, ta. Except for 20, which is 20. So this is an exception, okay? So we say 20 and then 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And for 100, we say 100. We never say un 100. When we say 100, we say 100. Never un 100. Don't put an article in front of this. Okay? So, now, a very common mistake is between 60 and 70. But consider this and it will be easy to remember. This is 6 with an S. So 60 is 60 with an S as well. And this is 7 with a T. So 70 will be 70 with a T. Okay? Okay, now do you remember that I told you that numbers from 0 to 30 are expressed in only one word, but from 31 to 99 we use three words. Why? Simply because we put Y. So we say up ah, because Y is end. Look, when I want to say 31 in Spanish, we say 30 y uno. Y is the word. This letter means and in Spanish. So this will be 30 and one. Do you see? So 32, 30 y dos. 33, 30 y tres. And so on until 99, which is 90 y Nueve. Okay? Um, now, another common problem is with these numbers. I will mark them in green so you will see what I'm talking about. Look at these numbers. Cinco, which is five. Quince, which is fifteen. And cincuenta, which is fifty. Okay, as you can see, the number has a C and a C, but here is Q, U. And if I say 500, 500 also, it takes Q, U. So it's irregular. So the numbers of 5 are irregular. But I will give you a mnemonic rule. 5 is 5 with a C. 15 is 15 with a Q. 50 is 50 with the C and 500, which actually is not in this lesson because this lesson is uh, from 0 to 100, so you will see this again in next lesson about numbers, is 500. So if you are not sure about one of these numbers, always remember CQ, CQ, so 5. 15, 50, 500. Okay? And that's all. So, study your numbers. We will continue with this in next lesson. Until then, practice and practice. Practiquen y practiquen. Bye bye. Adios. Hasta la próxima. See you next time.